Thank you for joining me today. I'm in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 1, actually the very first verse of Acts chapter 1. It has a couple of very important comments that Luke begins with in this particular uh, passage. You remember that Luke is uh, the author of the book of Acts, even as he was of the gospel of Luke. And so these two are really companion volumes. One is the uh, sequel to the other. Now in the first verse, Luke addresses a particular man named Theophilus. Now we don't know whether this was actually a man or if this was just a generic term. Theophilus means lover of God. And, and it could be either one. That's really immaterial. But in this passage, Luke says that he is continuing to write the story of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Now that's what's really significant here. That this that he is describing in the rest of the book of Acts, all 28 chapters of the book of Acts, was the continuation of what Jesus began during his ministry up, into, up until his resurrection. This is, the, this is the point, and that's what Luke is trying to say to us. We need to understand that in this day, Jesus is still active. He began to do these things all the way back during his ministry on earth, but he continues to do them through the work of the Holy Spirit, who inspired the apostles, who took the gospel to a lost world and radically changed this world uh, for all time. And so this is important that we understand that Jesus is still here. We, th we sometimes dr uh, drift into this uh, mindset that he lived so many years ago and he's no longer here. Just because our eyes can't see him doesn't mean that he's not here. Of course, we recognize that he is here by the ministry of his Holy Spirit in the Upper Room Discourse in John chapter 13 and 14, and on into 15 and 16, he speaks about the work of the Holy Spirit that was going to be another helper. The disciples were concerned about Jesus says, I'm going to be leaving you. And he says to them, don't be concerned. I'm sending you another helper. It's very interesting that the word another, there are two different Greek words that could be used. One means another of a similar kind. The other one, which is the one Jesus used, is another, one, is another that means an exact duplicate. And that's what the Holy Spirit is. He, of course, we are Trinitarian, so we recognize that he has revealed himself in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And this, uh, this, the Holy Spirit is the one that is responsible in this age for guiding us into all truth. The very same truth that Jesus himself taught and he is the one that impressed upon and inspired the apostles to write what they wrote so that we would understand the truth that Jesus is still here and he is still active and still ministering to us. This is the, the work of Jesus didn't end in the first century. Jesus didn't leave us and, and uh, go and just leave us on our own at that point. He sent the work of the Holy Spirit. He sent the Holy Spirit himself, as we will see in Acts 2, in order that we might understand what he has been saying. There are a lot of people today who try to suggest that, that the, the God that uh, that the New Testament uh, epistles worship and the God that is revealed in, in, in the scripture are two, are two different ones. But Jesus and Paul, and this is where many people criticize, they try to say that Paul altered the work of Jesus and the teaching of Jesus. He did not. But instead, 
he supplemented and complemented, and, and their teaching is very, very consistent with one another when understood properly. And so there are, but there are many in our day who try to suggest that when Jesus left, that the apostles took and ran with it in a different direction than he was going. Not the case, not the case. The things that Paul said and the things that Peter said and the things that John and James and Jude said, as well as the writer to the Hebrews, all of those are very consistent with the work and the words of Jesus. And that's our hope. We need to trust that because he's still active in this day. This particular book of Acts and all of the stories that we find there are the historical narrative of what Jesus continued to do on this earth. And there are many who have taken note that Acts 28 ends abruptly and that the church that we know today continues to do the work of Jesus. That's right, and that's true. Father, thank you for the work that you've done that you're continuing to do. Thank you that you have not left us alone, but you have given to us the Holy Spirit to guide us and direct us. And we pray that we will listen to his voice. We praise you now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day.